Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is December 28th and the day adds up and reduced to the number one vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So the number one energy talks about the I am. The number one energy is all about ideas and great ideas. So yesterday was a day of say endings or something evolving to the next level. And if something has evolved to the next level, then you're at the beginning again. You're at a higher level, but you're at the beginning of that higher level. So with the number one energy associated with today, you could find yourself having a lot of great ideas that would benefit your situation or help you on your path moving forward. And the moon is in Pisces and the moon conjuncts Neptune. So the moon is in a place that's super dreamy. So with the day having to do with the number one vibration and the moon in Pisces, you can find yourself having a lot of breakthrough ideas today. So you want to write them down because it might not be the time to take action on them, but still they're good ideas and they are beneficial and can be beneficial because moon and Pisces energy is a channeling energy. So this is where you could find yourself channeling through solutions that normally wouldn't come through. And I like how the moon is positively, the moon conjunct Neptune is positively aspecting Mercury conjunct Pluto and Venus and Capricorn. What I love about this, I love how say the inner world is in alignment with the mind and the values and even say Pluto creating endings and and transforming, say, our goals, our legacies, and our career. And then the moon is in a place where we're getting great ideas on how to make things better. But sometimes some of us get these great ideas when we're in, we're, we're channeling, we're, we're in that channeled energy. Or say, for me in the past, when I would smoke, I would get these great ideas then. But then when I come back to reality, my reality those ideas felt like they were too big for my reality. It's something that I get with this energy, but it comes down to say, when you get these ideas, if they really mean something to you and you can see how they can impact your future, the way how to make the most of these ideas is by creating a system to move through the, to move through, to, to bring these ideas into fruition. That's all you're probably missing is a system. If you find yourself feeling like you have this big idea, but you feel too small in, in relations to your idea. And I say system, I look at the moon conjunct Neptune, positively aspecting Uranus conjunct the conjunct North node and Taurus. So this gives me the feel of being futuristic and coming up with innovative ideas that will help with your financial situation or help to create stability within your life and how creating and creating new values, traditions and systems is important and all of that. So when you come up with these new premonitions and ideas, also new values is going to come with them. So of course, the same old traditions and values, you have to scrap them or remodify them or make some changes because old values are roadmaps. So with these new premonitions, new ideas, if you really believe in them, then they will come with new values. And those new values will be your roadmap to achieving whatever it is that you say you want to achieve in this realm. So it's all about a system. It's all about putting a system in place because success is not a secret. Success is a system. So once you decide whatever it is that you want to do, the next thing is what kind of system will get you there. Everything in this realm is a part of some kind of a system. 
And like I keep saying, we've been conditioned to follow systems that aren't in alignment with our truth that will keep us stuck within a system. So we're following a system within a system. And in order to get something different, you will have to do something different and you will have to create a system that is in alignment with whatever your goals or or achievements are. And the day is the 28th and the number 28 is the number two is nurturing, it's caring, it's dependent, it's codependent, it's unifying. The number eight is systematic, is system oriented. It deals with education, whether it's teaching or learning, and it also deals with authority. So two plus eight comes together and creates the number one vibration. So the number one vibration is created from unity the need for control, education, and just systematic. So these are ideas that are created from that energy that I just mentioned. So the number one energy is the I am. The number one energy deals with the ego. So this is where we'll come up with ideas, but we're comparing them to what is. So if we're creating ideas and we're comparing them to what is, then we'll keep ourselves stuck in the system because we need to be brave enough to do something we've never seen. And that idea is within us. It's just a matter of trusting it. But the number one energy is a mirroring energy because it's the ego. The ego feels safe with what's familiar. It's like the mind. And today is associated with mercury and energy. And to me, mercury is Mercury is gravity. To me, Mercury is the matrix. Mercury is gravity. Mercury is the matrix. Mercury is the mind. And the mind is a trickster. And trickster in the sense that if you allow the mind to be the master, it will trick the hell out of you. And like I was saying in a recent video, how if you want to understand life, you can't think your way out. You have to feel your way out. And it is from feeling your way out, you really get a grip, a, a, a glimpse of, say, what life actually is and how to make the most of it. And it comes back to, say, energy game. It's all an energy game when it comes to, say, this realm. It's all about keeping your energy positive and doing whatever you can to keep positive and optimistic energy. That's why we can all be within the same space but have completely different experiences and attract different things because of our energy and when it goes to say energy this is where our heart will guide us towards one thing but then the mind will will fight it because the mind like the number one energy is the ego it's the i am and it is meant to keep you in alignment with what's familiar which is like gravity which is like being in the matrix keeping you within walls recreating what already is when it comes to, say, the tarot associated with this energy, we have the five of pentacles in the reversal position. So the five of pentacles in the reversal position and the upright position, to me, it's people walking away from structure. It's walking away from shelter. And in the card, one person's walking away and another person is following behind them. To me, it's choosing to stay in a safe space, even if it is against what's important to you, even if it's against your truth. So to me, I see that with the number one energy and what I mentioned with the number one being associated with the ego and the mind and systems and cycles and yeah, like wanting to stay with what is familiar and also to the number one energy wanting to win. And when I think of wanting to win, it could be as simple as wanting to be celebrated by others and not going a path because you won't be celebrated and not wanting to be wrong. And how we were taught at a young age, being wrong is painful. So we avoid being wrong at all costs. And being right might mean be choosing to be a prisoner, choosing to be a hamster on a wheel and choosing to live your life to please other people and then ending up with regret later. The spirit animal associated with the energies in the day is the vulture. And the vulture energy is associated with the mind. And when I think of, say, the vulture energy, I think of, say, resources. I always see resources when I look at that card. I see resources because the vulture made itself present to me 
when I moved back from California and immediately with me being the kind of person who I am, who is super independent and I like to do things on my own type of vibe and the vulture energy showed up to show me the importance of community and how we are always supported and we don't always need to reinvent the wheel. So with the vulture energy, I think of say how food is presence and just from the behavior as one of one the others can sense that food is present so this brings me to say not needing to reinvent the wheel so with today having to do with the number one vibration and you wanting to start something new or have an idea but feel overwhelmed by this new idea or this responsibility or this new beginning you don't have to look around for people who have done what it is that you want to do and take some notes you don't need to follow them step by step by step but if you don't know what to do maybe you can follow them until you develop some confidence and start stepping into your own truth or stepping into what makes sense for you is what comes up with that energy you guys like when it comes to these videos I mentioned on Thursday video, which was December 22nd, that I'm recording today. Uh, I'm recording these videos on a Thursday, which is December 15th. And I like how I feel where normally I do them on a Saturday and my energy would be, would feel so low, but I don't want to speak too soon. But the thing with Saturday is, and I know I just jumped into this, but I feel like whatever. The thing with Saturday is it comes after Friday and Friday is Venusian energy. And on Fridays, I'll tend to reward myself and go out and do things. So I guess Saturday, I'll be depleted and my energy, sometimes it'll be good, but not always. And then also to the restrictive energies of Saturn, where today I wanted to jump in that Jupiterian energy and just flow with this wave but i'm gonna start doing it more on thursday and see like see how it plays out but even say with me sharing all that there's a lot of opportunities around and it's just a matter of observing to see what's best for you what flows for you so whether it's me utilizing the different energies within the day to see what will support my energy and what will help me to you know do my best work same with you look around for others who's doing whatever it is that you're doing and see what supports your energy when it comes to say the new ideas that might come through to you today new ideas that come up but you might be too afraid to act on them or say you act on them and things start off slow you can always change like say with me i realize it's all about getting started say with this channel get started and once i get started my steps will be directed and one minute i might try something and after a while i realize okay i'm over it and i'm on to something else but it's just a matter of getting started it's all about getting started and in order to get started you have to first find a system that works for you and after if you realize that system isn't working find a new system for me my system was saturdays and i'm starting to think maybe thursday should be the day but we're gonna see we're i'm gonna do more thursdays and see but at the same time i want to be realistic my energy sometimes goes up and down and i'm not the one to fake it so i'm just gonna go with it but recently i found myself redoing some videos because my energy was so low but yeah we're here at the end and of course tomorrow will be a new set of videos and I feel great so let's see how it goes with the next one and say for you also pay attention to your energies pay attention to the days and see which ones are beneficial for you and how they support you and to me that's all about alchemy like aligning with the seasons and making it work for us it's like with Mars and retrograde now and we're realizing how much energy is required in certain certain areas of our lives. And when Mars is direct, we don't even have to think about it. We just have all this energy we don't know what to do with. Where with Mars in retrograde, we're learning how to direct our energy in the right place. So when Mars goes direct, 
we're more focused and efficient and get so much done. So to me, like, yeah, pay attention to your energies and where you can get the most out of, say, each day or how you can make things work for you. And you don't have to work harder. You can actually work smarter. You guys, this was my energy update for Wednesday, the 28th. If you'd like to book a natal chart or tarot card reading, the link for that is in the description box below. If you would like to support the channel by becoming a member on Patreon or check out the exclusive content that's posted there weekly, that link is also in the description box below. If you're still here with me, I'd love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a red heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.